Kapil News just coming in. We understand that the Supreme Court's vacation bench has uh, dismissed uh, the plea that was filed by the DCW uh, late night on Saturday. Ritham Anand Bharadwaj is on the phone line. Ritham, give us more details. Yes, the DCW plea has been dismissed for now. The Supreme Court gave a very patient hearing to DCW lawyers who said the release should be, uh, he should not be released. However, the Supreme Court had just one point they made several times. They said there is no legislative sanction for us to do this. We share your concern. In this case, it's all fine. But we have to follow the law. Rules can go only by the statute. And I read out something that the Supreme Court said, which is really indicating now for sure that it is it is part to amend the Juvenile Justice Act. The Supreme Court said, suppose you say the child is to be detained. That's fine. But we need a clear legislative sanction for that. Rules cannot go beyond the statute. How can we give jurisdiction when we don't have it? What jurisdiction with which do we detain him? So the Supreme Court clearly indicating that in this case, its hands are tied because there is no law which yes. it can go ahead and detain the juvenile. The Supreme Court at least three times today repeated, and this is the vacation bench of Justice Goyal and Justice Yuyu Lalit. Suppose we say the child is to be detained, that's fine. However, and I'm quoting them, we need a clear legislative sanction for that. We cannot go beyond it. Rules cannot go beyond the statute. So very clearly, you know, once again, the question is raised whether in fact the parliament that has been stalled for the longest time this session will be sitting, whether the law can really be changed. The ball is back to the court of the parliament here. The Supreme Court dismissing that appeal that challenged the release of the juvenile, stating that we do want to do something. We share your concern. But we cannot go beyond the law. Law can there are two provisions. Hai. Ek, ju, as far as juvenile is concerned, one is detention and the other is rehabilitation. As far as detention is concerned, the court is constrained because there is no clear legislative legislative sanction. In the absence of that, the juvenile cannot be detained. Now, rule section, uh, rule 55 of the Act says that he can be rehabilitated. जो डीसीडब्ल्यू के वकील थे उन्होंने कहा कि कोर्ट कोई इंटरिम डायरेक्शन इशू करे जिसमें कोर्ट ने बोला है कि जो हाई कोर्ट का आर्डर है जो पटिशन डॉक्टर सुब्रमण्यम स्वामी की थी उसमें एवरीथिंग इज राइटली मेंशन एंड दे कैन नॉट गो बियॉन्ड दैट सो द कोर्ट इज कॉन्स्टेंट इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ एनी क्लियर लेजिस्लेटिव सैंक्शन टू डू द डिटेंशन सर फॉर द सेक ऑफ रिकॉर्ड सर अपना नाम बोल दीजिए प्लीज सर उस लड़के उस लड़के को छोड़ दिया जाएगा या या वो लड़का एनजीओ एनजीओ उसको अपने अंदर में एनजीओ के अंदर एनजीओ के अंदर में है लेकिन कोर्ट ने किसी भी इंटरिम डायरेक्शन को इशू करने से मैं अपनी असमर्थता जाए सर एनजीओ कितने दिन तक अपने पास रख सकता है सर उसको एनजीओ कितने दिन तक एनजीओ जहां तक रूल 55 है उसके अंदर जो है दो साल का एक पीरियड होता है जिसके अंदर उसकी मॉनिटरिंग हो सकती है लेकिन कोर्ट ने इसके बारे में कोई क्लियर डायरेक्शन नहीं लेकिन लेकिन एक एक चीज जो है ये दो साल का भी जो पीरियड है आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स लॉ में देखा है इक्कीस साल से कम उम्र तक हाँ तो वो इक्कीस साल का हो गया ना वो भी एक कॉन्स्टेंट है कीपिंग ऑल दीज रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन इन व्यू दी कोर्ट हैज डिस्मिस दी पटिशन